What's going on guys? Talk Aston Villa here back for another video and this is the match preview for Aston Villa versus West Ham this Saturday, November 8th, 3 p.m. kickoff at the bowling ground and really what a weird circumstances of events. You look at where West Ham at, Christ, they're tied with Arsenal for fourth, they're three points behind City in third, they're in fantastic form, three wins off the bounce with last week, a uh, fantastic 2-2 draw coming back from 2-0 down to get a 2-2 draw uh, from Stoke at the Britannia Stadium, so they're in fine form, they've got some fantastic striking options now, they've really revamped and Sam Allardyce has really revitalized their squad, which really gets me nervous. Obviously, going to West Ham and even playing West Ham is always a very brutal and physical match, and you know it's never going to be easy, but this year it's even more difficult. And I'm not that confident. Obviously, we're six losses off the bounce in a row, and it's just one of those things that we obviously have to pick up points somewhere. Hopefully, it's this week, but it's almost one of those things that how confident are the players and how confident are the fans this week and how confident is Lambert and Keane. And for us, for some injury news, thank God and hopefully Felipe Senderos looks like he should be back after his uh, thigh injury. But poor news, Alan Hutton looks to be set to miss the game again. Ankle injury. And obviously we're going to have to revitalize and shuffle up our striking options with Benteke set to serve his three-game ban after the appeal was denied by the, by the FA. So it looks like we're probably going to have to go with some combination of Ekbon Lahore or Vyman up top. Um, hopefully Kozak is back soon. Or just It's something that we really have to do. We need to score that first goal to push ahead and just to show we want it. And we have to defend well. Having Senderos back, or Senderos back will be a big boost for us. And it's essentially what we need to win the game or at least get a point. We just need to get something going again. We need a point or just something to look forward to and get some positive out of this game because it's been negative 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 for the last six week and six weeks and really for the last couple seasons looking at a West Ham standpoint obviously just a pure strike force right now you have Dia Sacco six goals in his first seven Premier League games I mean you can't get much more better than that you have Enter Valencia who's chipping in with goals in all shapes and sizes Stuart Downing the old Villa man looks revitalized playing in the middle out wide yes he he served his purpose out wide but now for them in the middle of the park he's getting more shots and more opportunities than most people the only person he's behind in opportunities and shots is Alexis Sanchez of Arsenal so you, you know he's doing well there so we have to look out for him Andy Carroll looks like he could be back but obviously he's going to have some competition so I don't see him starting and defensively Winston Reed and just they're a solid freaking team. I could go on all about their players, but really, it's one of those things where we really have to play well. I've been slightly impressed with Loughton with the way he's been playing recently, so hopefully he'll have a good game. We just need to play solid defensively, move well. Obviously, Delph's not back yet. He won't be back for some time, so we have to fill in that slot, and Zogia has to have another amazing performance like he did last week. Hopefully, playing him in that position he was playing last week. We'll see another one of him. Igbon Lahore, I'd like to see play a striker. Although it might be preference to Vyman, maybe provide that with outside with Igbon Lahore. I, I, I don't want to give a formation of what we'll play here. But would it be a 4-3-3 three, three and be better? Leave your comments below what the formation, who you want to start up top. Do you think Senderos will play? All that kind of stuff. What are your thoughts on West Ham? West Ham fans, what do you think? Uh, should be a, a good game. I hope it's not close. I hope we don't get absolutely trounced, but West Ham are absolutely an astounding team right now, so we don't know what to do. Anyways, guys, leave your comments, thoughts, and all that good stuff below. Be sure to like the video. It really does help the channel. Subscribe today, and you get to keep up with all my latest content, and I will see you guys later. Ta-da.